Okay guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I did a glittery purple festival look. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I really enjoyed doing this look. So I'm going to get right into it and I'm going to take my MAC paint pot and soft ochre and I'm going to put it all over my eyelids and make sure it's completely blended out. Um, all in your eyelid because you don't want any unnecessary bumps or you know anything like that. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 35B palette and um, this was my first time ever using it and I couldn't say that I really really like the formula of these shadows and I'm taking the cream colored um, shadow in there and I'm just gonna put it all over my eyelids to set the MAC paint pot down. I'm gonna go in with these two purple shades but I really just focused the gray toned purple shade all over my eyelids to um, start. I thought that it just had a nicer look. Um, yeah. And I blended it out until it looked as uh, dark as I wanted it to look. And then I went in and started putting that pink shade um, on top of that grayish purple. Yeah. And <laughs> I'm gonna take this dark purple and put it right underneath that just so it blends out a little nicer and it looks really nice yeah super pretty <laughs> and just keep blending the more you blend the better it looks and just keep this is my favorite blending brush at the moment. It's a blending brush by Scone Cosmetics. I'm going in with this pinky purpley shade and I'm just putting it around all that purple because I really liked the pinky purple look. I didn't really like the dark purples. I don't know, it's just personal preference. Whatever you want to do, I just liked the look a little bit better. I'm gonna go in with this purpley, dark bluey shade with my favorite brush right now. This is the Morphe E17 brush. I highly recommend this brush. It's really, really good for getting in those little areas along your crease so you can really define that look. And yeah, just go in really, really gently and uh, buff that out into your uh, outer crease there. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to make it as blended as I can and I'm gonna go in again with my blending brush and continue to blend those colors together you know the drill keep on blending that ombre effect is uh, the best when it's completely blended out I'm gonna go in with this NYX glitter primer I really really like this glitter primer and I'm just gonna take that on a flat brush and really, really carefully put it um, in my crease there. I'm giving myself a little cut crease, but instead of with concealer, I'm gonna use this glitter primer. So just go really slow and you know, be really careful with it. At the end here, I noticed it was dragging and I didn't really like how that looked, so I just started tapping it and you know, patting it in. Um, this is the best cut. Uh, this is the best cut crease I think I've ever done in my life. So just go ahead and do it really, really slow. Do it on the other eye as well. This eye didn't turn out as good as the other eye. I take a lot of pride in the other eye. Um, now I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Moon Dust Palette. It's so gorgeous. Going in with the shade Magnetic. It's like a purple duochrome. I love this shade. I think it's so pretty. Just going with the same brush that you use to put the glitter primer down. I find that it's fine. And really make it like a cut crease. So really get in there and define those edges. Yeah. And do it on the other eye. And I'm gonna go in with this purple shade again just to define the outer crease there. Make it all blended. Make it all blended. Now I'm gonna go in with a wipe and just 
define those edges and you know get all that glitter off my face. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Palette. This is the first time I've used this on camera. Going in with the Purple Horse shade and I'm just gonna make that more intense. Um, I felt like it wasn't an, at, like as intense as I really, really, really wanted it to be. So I went in and made it super, super intense. You guys know how I like my intense inner corner. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that. I'm gonna go in with the black shade. And be really, really careful picking up the black shade because the blacks and all makeup palettes are very, very intense. And I'm just gonna really, really focus that just in this outer corner, like barely, you can barely even tell that it's there. It just makes it, you know, look super dark purple. And uh, yeah, just blend it out. Like everything else we're doing, see how good that looks when you put it in there? Just like makes the look look complete. And then I'm gonna go in with the pinky shade again and just go over everything we did just in case we lost any pink color. And then I went ahead and did my foundation off camera. Um, because if you watch any of my tutorials, it's the same exact format. I do the NYX primer, you know, and the Shape Tape Concealer, and then I and then I just, you know, put baking powder all over my face. So I took the Moon Dust palette. Or, I'm sorry, the Moon Child palette, and I took the purple horse shade that we use for our eye, and I just put it underneath my brow. And I used the Morphe E19 brush for this. And then I went ahead and wiped all the baking powder off my face. Um, and then I just, you know, used it to make that line super sharp, just in case it wasn't as sharp as I wanted it to be. I wanted, you know, if you're going to a festival and you're gonna do this look, it's gotta be really intense. I'm going in with the Full Spectrum Brush by Urban Decay, and I'm going to take these two purple shades and put them, you know, on my lower lash line. But first I'm going to go in with the lighter shade, um, just to give it more dimension. And see how I did that? Like I connected the bottom lash line with the top color that I just wanted to make it look like a cat eye. Yeah! And then go in with that dark shade. Yeah, Alex. Yep, and then I'm just gonna make it more defined. Let's just go over, you know, the outer outer corner there with the dark shade. Make it look super poppin'. <laughs> super poppin'. <laughs> and then just clean it up with your um, big fluffy brush. Whichever one you wanna use. how it looks right now. And then I'm gonna take the same Moon Child um, palette color and I'm just gonna put it on my lower lash line you know, in my inner inner um, corner there just to make it look super intense. You know, I should have went in with my MAC Prep and Prime just to make it look crazy intense, but unfortunately I didn't do that today. I just wasn't feeling it, but right now I'm feeling a crazy inner corner highlight. So right now I'm just gonna take the um, Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. My go-to right now is the, um, what the heck is it called? The Lash Paradise. I usually love that one, but right now I'm just using the Voluminous. I'm gonna go in with my contour kit, Light to Medium by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just gonna contour out my face. I'm gonna do it kind of intense today because, hello, if you're gonna wear this to a festival, you need your makeup to be on all day, and you need to be like ready, and it has to be intense and gorgeous, you know. And yeah, I love the way that looks. I'm gonna go in with this DLS brush. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I I honestly don't know the shade, but I'm just gonna take the same brush that I used to wipe away my bake and put it on my cheekbones. I'm gonna take this Sephora powder and just make that um, contour pop a little bit more and put it underneath. Put it underneath my eyes because I, I did get some fallout with the Morphe palette. 
So, oh my goodness, I'm going in with the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter. I forgot which shade this is in, but I wet my brush with Fix Plus and dunk into that highlighter palette. And I found that if I just dabbed it all over my face, it came out really well. I'm taking this Becca um, highlighter in the shade in the shade Moon Dust. No, Moon. I'll link it below, but it is really, really pretty. Moonstone. That's what it is. It's Moonstone, and I'm gonna put it all over my face. And I really love how that looks. And I'm taking these. I don't know, jewels that I got off Amazon. I'm just taking the clear ones and I'm really, really carefully putting them underneath my eyes. I'm taking the glitter primer that we use and my tweezers. So if you do this at home, please be really, really careful with the tweezers. Please don't poke your eye. I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop Lippy Stick. I love this shade. It's in the color Brills. And these smell so nice and they go on so smooth. I highly, highly, highly recommend these ColourPop shadows and lippy sticks. ColourPop is common for the expensive brands and they're coming to Sephora. So I mean, comment below if you're super excited about ColourPop coming to Sephora because I am. <laughs> so this completes the look guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you Stay safe at a festival. If you do this makeup look and go to a festival, rage out, have fun with your friends, but please be safe. There's a lot of sketchy people at festivals. So I love you. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.